in geometry, the Steiner ellipse, midpoint ellipse, or midpoint ellipse of a triangle is the unique ellipse inscribed in the triangle and tangent to the sides at their midpoints. It is an example of an inconic. By comparison the inscribed circle and mandate ellipse of a triangle are other inconics that are tangent to the sides but not at the midpoints unless the triangle is equilateral. The Steiner ellipse is attributed by Dory to Jacob Steiner, and a proof of its uniqueness is given by Kalman. The Steiner ellipse contrasts with the Steiner circumellipse, also called simply the Steiner ellipse, which is the unique ellipse that touches a given triangle at its vertices and whose center is the triangle's centroid. Trilinear equation the equation of the Steiner ellipse in trilinear coordinates for a triangle with side lengths a, b, c as properties. The center of a triangle's Steiner ellipse is the triangle's centroid, the intersection of the triangle's medians. The Steiner ellipse is the only ellipse whose center is at the triangle's centroid. The Steiner ellipse of a triangle has the largest area of any inner ellipse of that triangle, as the largest inscribed ellipse. It is the John ellipsoid of the triangle. Its area is times the area of the triangle. Thus its area is one-fourth that of the Steiner circumellipse. The Steiner ellipse is the only inconic that is tangent at the midpoints of two of the triangle's sides. That is, if an ellipse is tangent to the triangle at two sides midpoints and also tangent to the third side, then the latter point of tangency is the midpoint of that side. The Steiner ellipse is the Steiner circumellipse of the medial triangle. The lengths of the semi-major and semi-minor axes for a triangle with sides A, B, C aware according to Marden's theorem. If the three vertices of the triangle are the complex zeros of a cubic polynomial, then the foci of the Steiner ellipse are the zeros of the derivative of the polynomial. The major axis of the Steiner ellipse is the line of best orthogonal fit for the vertices denote as G, F plus, and F minus respectively the centroid and the first and second Fermat points of a triangle. The major axis of the triangle's Steiner ellipse is the inner bisector of F plus G F minus. The lengths of the axes are G F minus, plus or minus G F plus. That is, the sum and difference of the distances of the Fermat points from the centroid. The axes of the Steiner ellipse of a triangle are tangent to its chiapet parabola. The unique parabola that is tangent to the sides of the triangle and has the Euler line as its directrix. The foci of the Steiner ellipse of a triangle are the intersections of the ellipse's major axis and the circle with center on the minor axis and going through the Fermat points. As with any ellipse inscribed in a triangle ABC, letting the foci be P and Q we have generalization. The Steiner ellipse of a triangle can be generalized to n-gons. Some n-gons have an interior ellipse that is tangent to each side at the side's midpoint. Marden's theorem still applies. The foci of the Steiner ellipse are zeros of the derivative of the polynomial whose zeros are the vertices of the n-gon.